Welcome back to Real South Honey. This week, it's gonna be hard to top this week. This is an action-packed week. From Kansas back to Mississippi dove hunting to the first velvet hunt ever done in Mississippi. And let me tell you, it all paid off. We had a good year. Well, we were in Kansas last week and Logan Saliba stayed behind to try to get his tag filled. Well, he sees a few deer start popping out into the food plot. And then right there at last light, the big buck shows up. That one's big, ain't he, son? It's really big. Well, that's the one we were talking about before we left. That's right. What you think about it? It's a lot bigger than Mississippi. <laughs> that's what we come up here for. That's a big eight point. What you think about it? Tell us. This deer came out of the back when we weren't paying attention. We looked up and he was just rubbing on a tree. And, uh, we could tell he was big just from that far. It was about 250 yards, 300. And just waited on him to walk a step closer. He came closer by another 50 yards and I decided to take my shot and I'm glad I did. I want to say thank you to Miss Morning Outfitters and Real South Hunting for getting us up here, having a good time and killing this deer. It's a deer of a lifetime. I'm so glad I could get here and take him. Congratulations, Logan, on a fine Kansas buck. We've had some awesome trips up here to Misty Morning in the past, and this year did not disappoint. Up next, Stubbs and Dan are in the dove field for opening morning. Hey. Yeah. Me and Dan is fixing to go smoke them with the wool lines. Opening morning of dove season 2022. Now I can remember back when my daddy took me dove hunting. We didn't get to get up early mornings and do that because back when I was a little boy, dove season didn't open to 12 noon on Saturday. Now, it's all together different in a way. It's still me and my little boy. Dan's up 24 years old now, but that's still a time of the year that actually starts hunting season for us. We get up early in the morning, make coffee, and get ready to hit the road. We're gonna go get him. He said he's ready. We got us a hay bale. John had told us that was a good spot. It wasn't long until the birds started flying. John just killed one. One shot. Get it? Good shot, Dan.
Shadow Robot to show you. Ten minutes, yeah. It'll go in there for a little bit. Bird! Bird! What a shootout! You got a limit? Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Just the first eight for eight. Dude, I was swacking them at first. Was you not smoking? Well, that's my boy. <laughs> I guarantee you, they let a group of four or more come over me. I'm missing. I'm shooting out as fast as I can shoot. And I'm sitting there telling myself, pick one out, pick one out, pick one out. I pick one out. Boom, boom, boom. Man, there were so many big groups coming in. Look coming here. Here's number 15, y'all. He did. He did. I ain't watching. Number 15 in the bag. That's one we're looking for. 2022. Me and Dino had limited out before 8 o'clock. Hot. Fixing to go get breakfast. I'm finna claim some birds. Then go get breakfast. And that's a wrap. Hope y'all had a good one too. Catch y'all on the next hunt. You see that? That is supposed to be a quibblet to a mega meat. That right there. Supposed to be a quibblet. So, I've never shot this. I've only shot field points this year. So it is opening day of season. When you shoot now? I don't really know which air one it hits. I'm gonna shoot the deer. You're shooting at the far one or the close one? I'm shooting the close one. You see that hard in that on that close one? Yeah, let's that, go for that. That's what I'm shooting at. Let's see if they shoot the sun. I'm gonna just say the mega meats are gonna be eaten. Bye, Carrie. Getting ready. Don't know what you fishing do. Fix something. Go kill me a buck. Spike or what? We don't kill spikes where I come from. We're going after a homemade buck. I finally drove Stubbs crazy enough about killing a velvet buck that he finally decided, okay, Carrie. If you want to kill a buck that bad, I guess you can come kill a buck on my property. But it's gonna to have to be this deer. And he showed me a picture of a spike. I said, Stubbs, I passed on a lot of deer. And I'm not gonna shoot my first buck with a bow. And it'd be a spike. First time velvet hunting. First time hunting in Mississippi. First time hunting with the real south guys. And I invited myself, just so we all know. Got his big home game tonight, so we may come. We're gonna go watch football. We may come to the game. Y'all can. It's getting burned.
All right, now my velvet season didn't work out quite as good as Carrie's. I had a nice, nice shooter buck coming to, to my stand. I get there, the does start coming in, I just know it's going to happen, ain't no doubt about it. Smaller buck shows up. Well, it was a little tempting now. I've never killed a velvet buck. We've never had to see them before. A little velvet buck coming in, and of course, I didn't shoot him being that young a deer. But I can't say that I wasn't tempted just a little bit. I let it get all the way dark. I put Carrie in the in the spot. I've had this velvet buck, this palmated velvet buck, every day. He's getting there at 10 after 5 or something. Now Carrie's wanting to get in the stand at 2 o'clock in the evening. I'm telling her it's too hot, it's too early. Just wait, he ain't coming after 5 o'clock. After begging him to let me go hunt, he finally let me get in the stand about 4 o'clock. Well, it gets 20 after 5, it gets 5.30, no text, it gets dark. So I ride up there, since I haven't got a text, I haven't got a call, I'm assuming she hadn't killed the deer. But when I pull up and I see her face, I know without a shadow of a doubt that she's done shot the buck. I said, is it the palmated buck? She said, it is. I said, let's go ahead and call our buddy, Stuart Wally, get him here on standby. Before we ever start blood trailing, we ain't gonna go in there and jump him because he got velvet and we don't even run him down through the woods tearing the velvet off. I don't even leave the field until I see the buck laying there. So Stuart never has to unload his dog, but let me tell you, a friend like Stuart Wally is good to have. Got these old soybeans planted. Them old deer is piling in here. What is he bringing with you, Kay? Here's one happy little girl right here, y'all. Here's one happy oh, little God. girl. We got him. <laughs> she has killed a fine, fine buck. There ain't no doubt about it. As good a buck as you're going to get in Mississippi, South Mississippi. South Mississippi, my first buck with a bow. 
He's daylighted the last five days, y'all. He is definitely the best deer I've ever shot. I could not hardly keep Carrie at the house this morning. She come <laughs> no. in last night. Deer seen open this morning. I said, Carrie, stay out of there. Stay out of that food plot. I made her wait. Then she wanted to come at 12. Then she wanted to come at 1. Then she wanted to come at 2. But you know what? We got in the stand about 4 ish a little after four wait a minute what time did i tell you you'd get him let's think back what time did i tell you he'd get here around seven i said 10 after seven probably but you look killed him at 7 21 listen we got in the stand i got in the stand i was in here in the stand for probably an hour i thought i should have gave it another hour because <laughs> yep. i had mosquitoes was toting me off they was tearing me up let's go show them the deer stub huh Let's show them the deer. You want to show them the deer? Let's show them the deer. You think we ought to? They got to see the deer. They got to see the deer. Better than right. that one. Briar's me up that yeah, one. taking us to see the deer, y'all. All right, I don't know if y'all seen this buck. If you've got a telephone, you've seen him. Uh, Terry, the most photographed buck in the world, and for good reason. But we had an awesome time. We got the season kicked off. Got a velvet buck down. Let's go see what you got. Terry says she has found a monster in here. Oh my goodness, Dove. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. What have you done, Carrie? I made a terrible shot is what I've done. But he's a dead deer. What have we got here, Carrie? Oh Let's get my that goodness. head up. Let's get that head up and see what you got. Be careful with that velvet now. That is full, full velvet. Look at this dude. Look how wide. Oh, give us a side angle of that. Look at that, y'all. Look how wide that deer's horns are. Looks like a moose. Talk to us, Carrie. I'm about speechless now, Stubbs. First of all, you've got all the praise. And thank you, Stubbs, from Real South Hunting for giving me this opportunity. My first buck with a bow, and I just can't be more excited. This is awesome. What a beast. How many points is he? One, two, three. We count this one? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten points. Ten points. But I can't get over the mass on this buck. Y'all, he came in right under me. I'm talking right by the ladder like he brushed the ladder coming by the cavalry is on the way y'all we were a little bit scared of the shot so i made the call that i always made what's happening brother what well, you think about this thing here this girl has done killed have you ever seen anything like this oh, in south what? mississippi a what you? Made look at it is that something or what is that something congratulations thank you I called Stuart just as quick as we got to the house, y'all. We watched the footage. We know we'd hit back. And uh, we called Stuart Wally. Well, what we don't want to do, I mean, I mean, Stuart will tell y'all, uh, we've done some lives on it and all. You don't want to get out there and just booger a track up when you're going to call the dogs in. Now, that don't mean they're not going to find him. They would just rather get a fresh start on the deer. I know that. They found several deer for me. So we don't ever booger a track up, and y'all, if you if you shoot a deer, this this is good a deer. You don't need to go in there tromping around four or five people messing up his trail. If you do, they probably gonna still get you deer. But it, it's better to to let Stuart get there, and if if Stuart can get there, he he's he's gonna put the deer on your tailgate. Now, how do you drag a deer out like that? Can you hold him by the ears? By the what do you what do you do there, Stuart Wally? We're gonna have to keep his head up off the ground. Right. <laughs> Do it, don't this hair's gonna tire real easy. It's right. Wet. Yeah. Right. So, so we need that. I've never drug a velvet buck out. We've never velvet hunted, you see. I haven't. The only, the only velvet deer that I've ever really fooled with much is I went to Colorado and killed a mule deer one time, and he was in full velvet. Is that right? But they rode a horse up right to him, and we just lifted him up, and put him on the horse. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> up ain't got a horse tonight. We ain't got a horse. We just have to take our time when we want. Yeah. He is some kind of beautiful. He is as fine as I've ever seen. He's just one fine buck for 
show them. Yeah, that's just, that's just great. We can't end this without saying a big thank you, Stubbs. You're welcome, Miss Carrie. I drove you crazy enough to, you finally let me come shoot a deer on your property, but I have been, it's been noted, I'm not allowed to hunt here anymore. It's a one-time deal. Well, we had an awesome time. We got the season kicked off, we got a velvet buck down. One of our kids takes a good buck in Kansas. Just one heck of a good time, a good start, and it's going to just keep getting better, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching the show. Catch y'all right back here next week. Center to heart, center to heart, y'all. Uh, let's see how I do. Probably got the thermos there. Yeah. I can't see my sights. They look like apples. Just close your eyes. Oh, I got oh that's perfect. That is perfect. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. You got them top of the heart. Oh. <laughs>